That's your ways of opening, creating, and saving maps in Pixplant. First of all, we need to select which map editor is uh, the current one. We can click the Open Map button and select an uh, image file. Or if an image is in the clipboard, we can simply paste it. Image files can be drag and dropped. Or if you have a material composed of uh, several maps, you can simply drag and drop and the open maps window uh, appears. Pixplan tries to understand the map type from each uh, image file name. And in this window, we can uh, check if the map types are correct. And the maps were opened into their own editors. Let's now see ways of creating new maps. To create one or more maps from scratch, we can click the New Map button, where we can set the size, and we can uh, select which maps to create and their initial values. To create uh, all the supported maps, click Select All. Pixplant includes uh, a number of uh, presets of real-world materials. Let's try creating a Chromium material. Another way to create a map is to extract it from a photo or from another map. Let's again open the brick wall. And to extract the displacement map from the shading in this photo, we select the Extract tool, select Base Map and Extract. Or to extract a roughness map, we also select Base Color. Let's now see ways of uh, saving maps. I'll open a brick material. And let's change the color in this red mortar to a yellowish tone. And perhaps making the surface a bit harsher by changing the normal map. If we click the Save button, only the maps with the unsaved changes will be saved. To save with another name, we can click the Save As button. As the Set Automatic File Names mode is enabled, we can simply enter a different base name and uh, Pixplant will uh, create the file names based on this name and the map type suffixes for each map. We can also change the format we're saving and uh, the map bits for that format. And the maps in the material are now saved.